Welcome out to Liberty Park. It's a nice and balmy 16 degrees outside in the snow. We have one mold, three different plastics. We're gonna get a round in out here, see how much plastic makes a difference, especially in the cold. So we're gonna get a round in out here. And no, we're not. Not only did the cold cause major issues in my game, it also caused havoc with my camera. So a lot of the footage from these nine holes was actually lost. So we're just gonna jump in, show you a couple holes, a couple throws here in the snow before we take it somewhere warmer for a better review of these discs. Also, talked about this on hole one, which of course footage I don't have. The mold is the CAX 6502 are the flight numbers from Castaplast. We have the K1, we have the K1 Soft, and we have the K3. Let's get back to it. Here we go, hole three is a 490 foot par four all the way down the tunnel and up on the right. So a great one for us to really open up on. Test the stability, the grip, all those things. K3, up first. Try and hit it flat, kind of on the right side. Let it finish. Okay, low. Actually, I mean, okay, not a good shot, but you could even see flipped up, was starting to turn over. So these flight numbers, 6502, feel a touch deceiving. I don't know that I'm seeing the 02. Definitely feels like I'm getting some flip and some turn out of these. Maybe it's just me though. Let's try the K1. See if we can't get this one actually in the air, huh? That's better. See if it hooks up though. There's the turn. Little bit of finish. Okay, not a bad shot. I almost want to say these are like a negative one one kind of disc though. And this is what I'm most interested in. K1 soft. Now we can see if this really is as understable as I think off those other two. I'm gonna try and put this on a decent amount of hyzer out of the hand. See if it flips up on me or not. A lot of hyzer and nose up. So it's not gonna flip up. It's just gonna go left. What a poor representation. My goodness. So let's talk just a little bit about how this video came to be. The other day before this big winter storm rolled in, I was talking to Tim over at Astro Disc, telling him about the weather rolling in, and he offered to send out these three discs specifically so I could try out that K1 Soft, the soft plastic in the cold weather. So huge shout out to Tim and Astro Discs for sending these out for me to try. Make sure you guys go check them out. They're linked down in the bio. Great people, great prices on all their product. Support them, they're supporting me. Let's go. All right, here's our K3. This is a fairway hit, put that in the stash. We're gonna try and hit this flat on a little turn, actually. Okay, actually came out baby hyzer. Still flipped up and turned, though. See what I mean? Negative one, one. I feel like he's a way better representation. That was a sick shot, just not quite what I wanted. To be fair, I put it on way too much hyzer, but a zero two disc, in my mind, my flight number system in my own head, would have just hyzered left into the creek. So see if we can't throw the nice big turnover shot. We'll go stand still with the K1. Yeah, no, I love the angle out of the hand. I just didn't get, get, quite get it wide around that low hanging branches, but all right, let's see if we can't find that K1 soft. All right, it wasn't in the river, but it was OB. So just for the sake of seeing this bad boy fly, we pulled in the middle of the fairway. Just gonna do a little standstill turnover to that basket straight ahead. See if we can't get this right. I like the angle into the branches. Man, that was on a great trajectory. You can see it's just holding that turnover. Still a little nose up. Yeah, some flipping boy right there on the K1 soft. Threw some drives on hole five. I don't think you guys saw them. Even my camera doesn't like the cold, which I was just talking about, you wouldn't know it. My camera keeps stuffing recording, even though it should be recording. Spoiler alert, none of them were great. All right, here's the deal. We just spent half an hour looking for that white K1 soft disc in the white snow. Thankfully, we found it, let's go. But for the sake of this video surviving another day, we're gonna cut our snow around here. We're just gonna say that's like the intro of this video. We'll find another time to throw these discs when it is not covered in snow so that we can get a better read on this soft plastic. Lesson of the day, Andrew snow rounds, probably not it. All right, let's see you in the sun.
and welcome out to beautiful sunny California. We didn't get a great read on these discs in the snow. We were clearly struggling just a little bit. So we're out here in a field in the sunshine, 75 degrees blue skies, you gotta love it. Same three discs, we're gonna see how these bad boys fly. That way we can judge the plastic variability in both the cold and the heat in the sun and the snow. Let's get after it. So we're gonna go K1 up first. Try and hit all of these as flat as we can. I know I always say that and then I throw a hyzer. You guys are great at letting me know about that in the comments, which, hey, look, I'm working on it. So K1, flat to baby hyzer. Let's get a good rip out there. Oh, you gotta love it. I mean, it's a killer disc, right? Hold straight for a long time, little bit of fade, little bit of pop up. I mean, absolutely what you would want from a mid range. Let's go to our K3, our base plastic. See if we get a similar flight, which is what I'm expecting. Yeah, there's that pop up, a little bit of hyzer out of the hand, gets to flat, fades. I mean, that flight looked almost identical, which I love to see. And now the K1 soft in the snow. This, this bad boy was flying kind of flippy for us, which did surprise me. I was expecting the gummy to be more overstable. Let's see if that's still true here in the sunshine. Oh, way nose up and way more hyzer. But you can see, holds that hyzer. We'll give those a toss back, see if I can be a little more consistent, see if those results stay true. Quick frame of reference on those last shots. We were throwing to a very slight headwind. Distance wise, the K1 soft went 289. The K3 and the regular K1 were literally within five feet of each other, and they were showing 315 and 320. So didn't get a great rip on this. We're gonna go back. Very slight tailwind out here. Same order, K1 up first, see what we got. Not bad. I mean, definitely tiny bit of flip up, good amount of push. Not seeing as much turn as that K1 soft though. It's holding true. Let's go with our K3. Holds the hyzer a little bit more without that headwind, but Pretty, pretty straight disc there. Now let's see if we can't get a good shot with this K1 soft. See if it flips on us. There's the stand up, just the tiniest amount of turn, but kind of looks like that thing really moved. Dang, all right, so maybe seeing a touch more under stability. So on those last throws, the K3 only went 295. The regular K1 went 335. The K1 soft kind of bomb, 350 on this bad boy. A lot more flip up, a little more turn, a little further flight. So we're gonna hit some forehands real quick, back into the slight headwind, just to get one final read on these. Then I'll give you my final thoughts on these three plastics in the hot and the cold. Regular K1 up first. I mean, so much hyzer. A little bit of pop up, there's the dunk. Let's go K3. This is not a great showing of my forehand prowess. Not gonna lie to y'all. Still a lot of hyzer, still good pop up, just much lower to the ground, a little more push. Let's go K1 soft. Cause really this is what we're here to see if this soft bad boy is a little flippy like we think. Oh yeah, still a lot of hyzer, still nose up, but so much stand up than on the other ones. Well, hey, let's wrap this up. Let's talk about hand feel. So here in the sun, I have to say the K1 Soft is a little too gummy for me, actually. It's too flexible. It just adds a little bit of extra wobble to my release, which I don't love. But what I will say is in the snow and in the cold, that plastic stiffened up just a little and it felt so good. Where the regular K1 feels incredible here in 75 degree sun, it was a little too stiff in the cold and that K1 Soft just felt money in the cold. So in terms of hand feel, I absolutely get the hype on having the gummy plastic in the cold. I think it's a difference maker. The K3, it's stiff in the cold, it's stiff in the heat. If you like base plastic, the way it beats in, just the more kind of chalky hand feel, I guess you would say, which I actually do kind of like on mid-ranges and putters, then that could be a really great option to get a different style of flight out of the same mold for you. All three of these discs did show some slightly different characteristics. I will say the K1 regular and the K3 flew the most similar out of the box, although I know from experience that that K3 is gonna beat in way quicker, which would give you that variation. The K1 soft, 
definitely flippier, which like I said, surprises me. So let me know in the comments below what your experience and preference is with softer gummy plastics, with flex plastics, whether or not you like it, whether or not you've actually found them to be flippier, or if they're more overstable for you, I would love to know your thoughts. Appreciate you guys hanging out. Huge shout out to Tim and Astrodisc TX for sending these out and sponsoring this video. Check them out at the link below. My name is Andrew Wood. Remember, the journey is the destination. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.